today in this video we will be doing the exercises from lesson 3 the kids club of your english communicate book at the end of this video you will be able to pronounce the difficult words correctly tell the meaning of the given words write the short form of the given words match the words that go together and complete the sentences with the correct word let us start with the difficult words of the chapter the first word is building b u i l d i n g second word bharat apartment capital b h a r a t capital a p a r t m e n t third word staircase s t a i r c a s e fourth word children c h i l d r e n fifth word whole w h o l e the word whole means complete sixth word is bothered b o t h e r e d it means to irritate someone or to create problems for someone seventh word troubling t r o u b l i n g it means to irritate someone eighth word disturb d i s t u r b it means that when somebody is working something or resting during the afternoon a noise is created and some problems are appeared in front of that particular person so he gets or she gets disturbed next word bandage b a n d a g e the word means that after somebody gets hurt the ointment is put and some uh, primary medical facility is given that is called bandage next word apologize a p o l o g i z e it means to ask sorry or to feel sorry next word naughty n a u g h t y and the last word dangerous d a n g e r o u s 31 e part we sometimes shorten words by leaving out a few letters and putting in a apostrophe mark in their place write the short form of the following the first one has been done the word is you will the two words have been shortened and written in short form with the help of an apostrophe mark students apostrophe mark is a small comma which is put on top of the word like this the second one is i will so how can we write the word i will the first word will be written complete that is i put an apostrophe on the top and then you will simply write ll so for will the short form is written as ll third word is they will they will be written complete spelling and for will we will put an apostrophe and write ll like this t h e y d a y apostrophe and ll what will 
so similarly what will be returned completely put an apostrophe and ll for will f part match the words that go together instead of drawing the lines students it is better to write the number at the end so as to be very clear to the teacher now the first word is fluffy with which word we can match fluffy fluffy is clouds so at the end of the word clouds you will write one and put a circle around it this refers that the word cloud matches with the word fluffy second is sandy a place where sand is found so which is that place it is desert so write two and put a circle now loud what can be loud the voice can be loud so voice is written on top write three at the end of the word now wooden wooden is what is made up of wood in your house door so at the end of the word door you will write four and put a circle fifth one cotton during summer times what do you wear made of cotton it is clothes so five and put a circle now g part the long i sound in words like sight is spelled with an i in the middle when the long sound of letter i comes then it comes in the middle of the word and an e at the end when a long sound for the letter e comes it comes at the end of the letter now fill in the blanks to complete the words the first sentence is sanaya is flying a first sentence is sanaya is flying a dash what can be the word k i t e kite never dash into a dash it will be sore so what will come never bite into a line it will be sore i saw dash little dash hiding in a pile of dash so in the first word it will come i saw five little mice hiding in a pile of pipes fourth one those dash shirts on the dash are mine so those nine n i n e shirts on the line l i n e r mine m i n e and the last sentence the two dash of the dash road have trees now the two dash the word will be s i d e s sides of the dash road it is a wide road w i d e have trees 